James Argent has revealed he wouldn't reconcile his romance with ex Lydia Bright as he fears it would jeopardize their friendship. The pair split in 2016 after a tumultuous on and off relationship when Lydia, 30, reportedly came home to find recovering drug addict James, 34, out of it. Arg spoke to the Mirror about his relationship with his fellow TOWIE star, saying that rumors ruin the potential for the former couple moving on. Lydia has been single following the end of her relationship with Lee Cronin, who's her daughter Loretta's father. He explained, We want to be in each other's lives forever. She's one of my closest friends. We care about each other and respect each other but we think anything else than staying friends would jeopardize that. I want to be able to see Lydia when I'm not having a good day as she's somebody I turn to for help, but we can't do that at the minute because we get pictured and everyone says, they're back together. The reality star feels he can turn to Lydia with his problems, but also can confide in her mum, who sends him inspirational quotes in the morning to help him with his recovery. James also had a long-term romance with another co-star Gemma Collins, and has expressed how happy he is for her new engagement with Rami Hawash. James and Gemma eventually ended their relationship for good at the start of 2020. Arg was recently spotted at the darts holding up a board which read GC call off the engagement on it. He said of this, it was just lads banter. I know for a fact Gemma wasn't offended, she saw the funny side. I also got to know Rami well in the early days of filming TOWIE so I'm really pleased for her. James also revealed that his 13 stone weight loss has spurred him on to consider reality shows such as Emma Celebrity and Strictly Come Dancing. During Tuesday's episode of Loose Women, Arg explored the rise in male eating disorders by interviewing an expert, two case studies and his mum, Patricia Argent. Arg, who told viewers one and a half million people in the UK are struggling with an eating disorder and a quarter of those are men, also admitted he was one of them. He decided to overhaul his lifestyle after battling depression and cocaine addiction. After binging on food following a rehab stint, Arg decided to get a gastric band surgery last April. The procedure sparked him to change his diet for the better and work out regularly, boxing, swimming and going to the gym five times a week. He said, I've been suffering with a binge eating disorder for over half of my life and although people might think that condition is quite rare, more people actually suffer from binge eating disorders than what they do from anorexia and bulimia. During the VD, James spoke to his mum, Patricia, and asked, When did you notice there was something not right with me? She replied, Lockdown is when it started to creep up on you. You seemed to be putting on weight every week and I noticed you weren't moving as much as you could have been, and you just didn't seem happy in yourself.